Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will discuss about the how to solve the linear programming problem by graphical method of extreme or corner point approach method. Let's see the problem. Maximize z equal to 2x1 plus x2 and subjected to constraints are x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 10, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 6, x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 2, x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 1 and x1 comma x2 are greater than or equal to 0. Here objective function is z equal to 2x1 plus x2 and the decision variables are x1 and x2. Constraints are given x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 10, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 6, x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 2, x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 1 and x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0. These are the non-negativity constraints. Let's see the solution. First step is consider the inequality constraints as a equation. For this, we have to replace the inequality symbol into equality symbol. Then our constraints equations are x1 plus 2x2 equal to 10. And let us consider this is equation 1. Second constraint is x1 plus 2x2 equal to 6. This is the second constraint equation and we have to consider the equation number 2. And third constraint equation is x1 minus x2 equal to 2. This is let us consider equation number 3. And fourth constraint will become x1 minus 2x2 equal to 1 and consider the this is the equation number 4. And x1 comma x2 is or greater than or equal to the 0. Second step is each constraint will be plotted on the graph by treating it as linear equation. For this, first you have to determine the coordinates for the all the constraint equation. So let's see the first constraint equation is x1 plus 2x2 equal to 0. Then we have to determine x2 value is 0. Then what is the x1 value? Similarly, we have to find out the what is the x2 value if x1 equal to 0. First we have to consider if x1 equal to 0 and we have to substitute in the above constraint equation then x2 will be so here 2x2 equal to 10 and x2 equal to 10 by 2 that is the 5. Similarly substitute x2 equal to 0 value in the above constraint equation then x1 equal to the 10. Then coordinates for the first two constraint equation is 10 comma 5. Similarly for the for the second constraint equation substitute if x1 equal to 0 then x2 value is the 6. Similarly consider the x2 value is the 0 and substitute in the constraint equation then we will get the x1 equal to 6. Then coordinates are the 6 comma 6. Let's see the next constraint equation that is x1 minus x2 equal to 2. Then so just we have to assume x1 equal to 0 and substitute in the above equation we will get the x2 value is the minus 2. Similarly substitute x2 equal to 0 in the above constraint equation we will get the x1 equal to 2. And see this, then the coordinates are the 2 comma minus 2 and see the final constraint equation that is the x1 minus 2x2 equal to 1. First we have to consider x1 equal to 0 and substitute x1 equal to 0 value in the above constraint equation we will get minus 2x2 equal to 1 then x2 equal to minus 1 by 2 that is minus 0.5. Similarly substitute x2 equal to 0 in above constraint equation we will get the x1 equal to 1. So then coordinates are the 1 comma minus 0.5. Next to draw the horizontal and vertical axis on the graph. Here x1 as the horizontal axis and x2 as the vertical axis. Next to observe the highest values for the x1 and x2. Here 
10 is the highest value for x1 and 6 is the highest value for the x2. So make the 10 divisions on x1 and x2 axis each division equal to 1 centimeter. Next we have to mark the first two equation coordinates on the graph sheet that is 10 comma 5. So mark the 10 on x1 axis and mark the 5 on x2 axis. Then join the these points it will give the line for the first constraint equation. Next to mark the 6 comma 6 on x1 and to x2 axis for the second constraint equation and join the these points it will give the line for the second constraint equation. So next we have to mark the 2 comma minus 2 on x1 and x2 axis for third constraint equation and join the these points it will give the third constraint so third, it will give the line for the third constraint equation and here we have to extend this line why because mean here x1 comma x2 both are the greater than or equal to the zero so next to mark the 1 comma minus 0.5 on x1 and x2 axis for the fourth constraint equation and join the these points it will give the line for fourth constraint equation and we have to extend the this line so why because we here x1 comma x2 both are greater than or equal to the zero next step is mark the feasible region based on inequality conditions of the constraints for this remember the this note if the coefficients of the decision variables are positive in the constraint equation then we have to mark the region based on inequality if the given inequality is greater than or equal to we have to consider the region above the line and given the inequality symbol is less than or equal to then we have to considering the region is below the line and another note is if the coefficients of the decision variables are negative in the constraint equation then have to mark the region based on the x1 coordinate value if the uh, coordinate value for the x1 is positive then we have to consider the region above the line and if the coordinate for the value for the x1 is negative then have to consider the region below the line then have to let's see the first constraint equation here x1 and x2 x1 and x2 coefficients are the positive and given the inequality symbol is less than or equal to so we have to mark the region below the line next we have to observe the second constraint equation here x1 coefficient and also x2 coefficient both are the positive and given inequality symbol is less than or equal to then we have to mark the region below the line similarly next we have to observe for the third constraint equation here x1 coefficient is the positive but x2 coefficient is the negative so next we have to observe the coordinate values of the x1 value here x1 coordinate value is the positive then we have to consider the region we have to mark the region above the line so this is the third constraint equation we have to consider the above the line so next to see the fourth constraint equation here x1 coefficient is positive but x2 coefficient that is the minus 2 so x2 coefficient is the negative so we have to mark the region above the line so this is the fourth constraint equation here i have to considering the above the line next we have to mark the feasible region for all the constraint so feasible region is the 
area which is bounded by the all the constraint lines so this is nothing that common area for the all the constraint regions here observe that the oa bcd is the feasible region here we have to consider only the positive area and the coordinates for the feasible region oa bcd is for o 0 comma 0 for a 1 comma 0 for b 3 comma 1 for c 4 comma 2 for d 2 comma 4 and for e 5 comma 0 next step is we have to evaluate the objective function at each extreme point of the feasible region for this draw a tabular column which having the first column is extreme points that is o a b c d e next column is coordinates values for the all the extreme points and next column is objective function value at respected coordinate points for this we have to substitute x1 and x2 values in the objective function for the o point we have to substitute 0 comma 0 and z value will become the 0 and for the extreme point of the a we have to substitute x1 and x2 values are the 1 comma 0 and in the objective function then we will get the z value is the 2 and next to extreme coordinate points is b and which having the coordinate values are the 3 comma 1 then we have to substitute x1 equal to 3 and x1 x2 equal to 1 in the objective function we will get the z equal to 7 next to extreme point is the c which having the coordinates values is the 4 comma 2 that is x1 is the 4 and x2 equal to 2 then we have to substitute this x1 and x2 values in the objective function we will get the z value is the 10 next to extreme point is the d which having the coordinates values of the 2 comma 4 so which is x1 is the 2 x2 is the 4 then we have to substitute this x1 and x2 values in the z objective function then z value will become the 8 similarly we have to substitute the x1 and x2 values in the extreme point e which having the extreme so which having the coordinates of the 0 comma 5 that is x1 equal to 0 x3 equal to 5 then i have to substitute these values in the objective function we will get the z value is the 5 here among these values we are having the maximum value is the 10 so that is for the extreme point of c and the extreme point c having the coordinates value is the 4 comma 2 so our optimal solution for the given linear programming problem is x1 equal to 4 and x2 equal to 2 and maximize objective function is the 10 so this is the solution and thank you